Okay, here we are again. We've got this week's video uh, from the Awareness website, Awareness Tai Chi. And this video is going to be on moves 41 and 42, uh, the right brush knee, and step up and punch low. A little bit of controversy on that move, so we're going to cover a few things on that. So hang in there, we'll be right back. We've got a right brush knee coming up here and then step up and punch low. Um, step up and punch low is only done once in the set, so it's a unique move. Um, the right brush knee, uh, it's done twice in the set, so this is the second time we're doing it and then that's it. No more right brush knees after this. Um, now the controversy I was talking about with the step up and punch low is it's been noticed, uh, some of our viewers uh, have noticed the way I do it, the way they see Mr. Moy do it on his video. So there's a couple of variations, a couple of different ways to do it. Um, so I'll go over that when we get to that move. But we're going to start with uh, getting into the brush knee. I just wanted to make one little clarification. We had a, a viewer uh, make a comment asking about the stepping and how, they, how do you make the steps. Um, when you're stepping out to do a, a move. So we'll cover a little bit of that because this is a great uh, sequence to do that with the brush knees and coming down from the kick and stuff. So I want to go over that to start with. Um, so we're going to go from the kick, so the turn and kick with left foot. Uh, and I'll do it sideways here so you can see what's happening as we go through it. So we're going from, we've just done the separation left, stepping back, turning, pivoting on the heel, and then coming up and kicking. So when you kick, you're just going to drop down and put the heel down. <laughs> um, and as you do that, the back hand goes from here, as we've talked before, you just, you kick, and then as you drop down, you turn into this leg. So you want to turn and sit down as you sit. The back hand turns, palm up, and you put the heel down, and then the foot will just drop as you go forward. Um, you don't want to make it really super deliberate by holding the toe back, putting it down, and then planting as you go. Keep it relaxed, keep it very natural. So much like you walk, you walk, you put the heel down and the foot just drops. Very, very comfortable, no deliberation with it or anything. You just step, step. So doing the steps and the sets kind of the same. Going from a kick, if you can keep the leg relaxed, after you kick, you just let it drop. So again, we'll do that. So the step back, turn. So I'm facing towards the right corner. I'm going to kick. And then as I drop down, I sit into this hip. And I just put the foot down with the heel first. And then just let the foot drop. Then the hand comes through to the front. Get this set up so the hands are in front of you. And then you relax and stretch out. And there's your left brush knee. So step, turn. So here you express and immediately sit down, turn the back palm up, and then the elbows drop and you come through to your left brush knee. <laughs> From here then, just like we did in the sequence of brush knees earlier on in, in uh, continuing classroom classics, you pivot the foot out and turn this hand and the body turns and opens. You stand up. And then when you go to the to do the right step for the right brush knee, you're going to turn and sit into the left leg and step out. So the leg extends, the heel touches, and then you drop the foot as you push from the back leg. And then it's the same thing here, turn and pivot. Turn, open, stand up. So you get to this right angle, so you see my body turns with the arms opening, palm up on the back, 
then I'm going to turn, continue to turn and sit down into this right leg so that my knee stays up lined up with the, the toe. If you don't, so my body turns and if I don't turn into it, what happens is this knee tends to buckle. I want to get myself turned so this leg bone lines up with that 45 degrees so I can step through and this is all fairly comfortable across here. So it takes a little bit of paying attention to but make sure and it, it's a very natural kind of feel for that sitting into it. If you overdo it, it does the same thing. It misaligns the knee so you want to be careful with that. Now doing those brush knees, so we go from the kick, turn and sit down, backhand palm up, come through with the left brush knee, turn, up, relax, step through, right brush knee, now going into the low punch, it's all the same getting into it, except now with this one, I'm going to turn, I'm going to step, and instead of the backhand coming through by dropping the elbow, you turn the palm down, the elbow drops, but the fist comes by the hip and out to the front. And here's where the controversy comes in. When I was taught, when you go to punch low, the left hand circles the wrist. So the, the hands are close together, got the fist going down in this direction. So I'm not turned over like this, but with the thumb on the top side, making a fist, the left hand circles it, and then you punch down. When you watch Mr. Moy's video, he'll come through and it's more like a brush knee. So it's a little more open in here. Either way it's fine, so whatever is comfortable for you, um, this is actually a very nice, comfortable, really helps to open up the back. Bringing them closer together, when you're punching down, it kind of focuses it and concentrates, I know, I guess, the punch into a smaller area. Play around with it. Um, either way, like I say, it's fine. A um, couple of things to pay attention to. When you do that, so watch what the back hand does. When I sit down, I step through, so the back hand turns palm down, makes a fist to the hip. Notice it comes through before I transfer too much weight, so that the hands are out in front. And when I get the weight going into the front leg, notice I'm still upright at this point. And then you start to go down as you sit into the front leg, and the back leg is extending common thing with this is people anticipate the low punch and they'll do the overhand low punch <laughs> or they'll start punching low before they get the weight to the front leg and so the whole body is kind of collapsing into it um, and then it's just sort of like this and very uncomfortable and straining so you want to come through so the backhand comes palm down, makes a fist, comes through to the front, connects with the left hand. Now here, I'm just going to relax down and let the arms extend downward. When we used to practice this, uh, Mr. Moy would have us do a really stretchy and some of my other instructors, they really wanted to stretch things out quite a bit and you can do that but you have to take a longer step. So if you're going to punch really low, uh, you may have to take a little bit longer step so that you can come through and then punch and stretch. So you're still trying to keep the, the body straight, keeping the spine straight, not vertical, but in line with that back heel. And that means you have to really sit down and really stretch out the back leg to let the fist reach out and then you push from the leg to come up into the next move which is another video <laughs>
couple of points is you're, you're aiming down by the front foot or slightly out. It just depends. If you get it out too far, then the lower back starts to take the load and you end up sort of like leaning out and that's where this will start to strain back in here. So try and keep it really upright and balanced when you come into that uh, step up and punch low. So here the body's upright and then just relax down. And then you'll push from the leg and go into the next one. So this here, your weight should be nicely balanced in this leg and the body should be comfortable. Even though you're punching down, it should be comfortable and not crunching, not collapsing. So I uh, hope that all makes sense to you. <laughs> Um, the brush knees are pretty much the same, but again, just pay attention to the turning when you're going into that sit to get the step out. Because you want to be balanced in that leg as you step. So whether you're doing the punch low or just a regular brush knee, you want to be balanced in this step and get the foot out without dropping forward into it as you step. So that all being said, let's do some follow through. And so we'll take it from um, the left brush knee. So we've done the kick, the turning left, turning kick left. Step down for the left brush knee. So we'll go from the left brush knee, we'll go left, right, step up and punch low. Uh, left brush knee. Okay. So we're going to pivot, open up the hand, stand up, turn to the left, arms open, sit down in the left leg, step through, right brush knee, pivot and open, turn to the right and stand up, turn to the right some more as you step through, fist turns palm down, makes a fist for the hip, comes through to the front, and then relax and punch down. How low you punch depends on your strength and flexibility and how long of a step you've taken. So we'll just keep it simple for the time being. So one more left brush knee. Pivot up. Relax and step. Come through with the right brush knee. Pivot. Up and step, open the arms, relax down into the right leg and step, fist to the hip, get it front, and then punch low. Okay, we'll do that one more time and then we'll try a different angle. We're in the left brush knee, pivot, up and open. Relax down and step. Right brush knee. Pivot. Up and open. Relax down and step. Low punch. Fist to the hip. Out in front. And then punch down. Okay, so let's do it uh, going this direction. From the left brush knee. Pivot up, relax down, step, right brush knee, pivot up, step, fist to the hip, out in front, and then punch low. Okay, one more time. Relax and turn, step, turn forward, pivot up, relax and turn into the hip, step, low punch. So see, I, I almost forgot to turn the hand over. So we'll do that one more time. 
just so I can get it right. Palm down, fist to the hip, out in front, and punch low. Okay, so once again, you got some homework, lots of stuff to play around with. Practice it lots. Send us your comments, shoot us some emails, let us know you're out there. Check out the website, like us on Facebook. Uh, if you don't have Facebook, uh, just get in touch with us through the website. Um, and uh, what else was there, Shelley? I guess the Christmas thing coming up. Um, We've got a Christmas surprise coming up here shortly. On the 13th, yeah. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll do another little Christmas fun thing with you guys. So um, looking forward to that. So hang in there. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.